Hey, how we doing today? So we got a real fun lesson in store. Just want to make sure we're all hanging in there at home real nicely. You know, uh, hope you're not getting too sad anytime. But remember, if you ever do feel a little sad, it's okay. You know, just take that moment, really think about that feeling and let it just pass. Because it will pass if you sit and just sort of contemplate on it and then move on from there, right? So, and also, same thing with getting mad, right? Maybe it's easy to feel like angry that we can't see our friends or we can't go to school or we can't do these things that we used to be able to do all the time. But that's all gonna pass and you know what? It's really nobody's fault. This is something that we're all just trying to get through together. So, you know, I just wanna commend you and say really good job for hanging in there. Um, and you know, look out for your mom and dad too. And mom and dad, you know, keep looking out as you always do. So let's go ahead and uh, go over today's lesson. So today's lesson is gonna be a fun little challenge. We're gonna draw something that would seem like it's gonna be very hard. We're gonna draw a shell. Let me show you. So I got this shell when I went to Cuba. Pretty cool, huh? Pulled right out of the ocean. Still has a little bit of dirt, even a piece of carpet on it. Well. Look at that, it's a very complex shape. And I'm gonna show you how to use our artist X-ray vision to be able to draw complex shapes. And you can use the ideas in this lesson to really draw anything, to look at any complex shape and be able to draw it. So let's go ahead and just get a preview of what I'm talking about. So let's pull up the shell. Awesome. So look at all the complexities as we were just looking at it. What I do is with my x-ray vision, I see a little box inside. So let's see that platform there. That's the bottom of the box. Now I build two walls. Notice the back one's shorter. The front one's about double height. Two dots. These dots are gonna indicate the straight line that now passes through so that I could plan the spiral. And then the rest is just extra detail. You know, putting on the bottom edge of the shell, finding that back area and the backbone of it. And from there, once we have that skeleton, you'll see everything else is easy peasy. So now you can feel free to sketch with anything you'd like, but don't worry if we're sketching with a crayon. Today, we're going ahead and using the exact same supplies we use every day. I got kind of a mustard yellow crayon. I'd say I have like a peach color, a light brown, a darker brown, a gray, and a black. Now, if you don't have all these exact colors, just improvise, it'll be fine. So let's go ahead and get started here. Let's grab that yellow crayon. I'm gonna use this because it's the lightest one, so I can really kind of sketch and know that as I finish my drawing, it'll be covered. Let's go ahead and go back to that what, what I just showed you with imagining the rectangle in the bottom of the shell. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do an angled line, kind of like this. Perfect. Now we're gonna do two lines going parallel, which means that they're just running along each other at the same sort of projection. So let's go like this, boom, boom. All right, now we wanna do one more parallel line, which is this back here. Awesome, look at that. We got a little parallelogram there. So now let's go ahead and do the back side, which we just need to do a nice vertical line, nice vertical line, not too tall, and then let's close it off. All right, so the one up here, we're gonna do twice as tall as this one. So we'll go one and then two, one and then two. Now let's do another one of those nice lines to close it off. Now we can kind of see the x-ray sort of skeleton shape inside of our shell. Let's go ahead and place those dots now. So we're gonna do one right in the middle here. And then the other one, we'll do almost near the top, but still in the middle of this plane right here. Okay, let's go ahead and now do a straight line that runs through these dots and out. Now you don't have to be too careful with how long that is because all shells come in different shapes and sizes. From here, easy peasy, we're just gonna do a nice spiral. So let's start here, and what we'll do is as we move in towards the box shape, we'll get bigger and bigger. Here we go.
awesome. Now look at that. We have basically this big tornado looking swirl, which will help us plan the whole rest of our shell. From here, we have pretty much everything we need to really get rolling. Let's put in one last little bit of detail. It's gonna be this bit of shell that comes outward at us. All right, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna, at the corner of this box, come out just a little bit like that. Now, over here, underneath the cone, come out right before the corner, like that. Now let's just do a light little connection. And back here, let's go out just a little, and then let's do a nice connection like that. Perfect, perfect. Okay, so now we really have everything we need to get going into the final stages here. If you'd like, we can go ahead and put on the backbone. Boom, look at that. Now we can see that back edge of our shell, a nice curve going to the end. Uh, also notice we have a little bit of shell we're seeing behind. So we can pretend uh, coming out from this point, right out to about there, and tucking back in. We got a little bit of the back of the shell. So from here, let's put this cram back. Let's grab the light brown cram. What we're gonna do now is we're gonna try to get these little horns that are on the edge of the spiral. Now the way that I do this is I think of kind of like nubby triangles or ground down teeth. Here's the trick. I'm gonna start at the top of each spiral and as I come around it, I'm gonna keep facing the direction that it should be pointing, right? So if I'm up here, it's pointing up. If I get to here, it's pointing kind of sideways and then down. Now don't worry about how many or anything. Here we go. One, there we go. And then down here, and there we go. So let's do the next one. We're gonna come up, make it a little different than the other one. They don't have to be exactly the same because all shells are different. Look at that, we already got a nice drawing going. It's already starting to look a little bit 3D. Let's do it to the next one. You can get creative with these. Look how easy they are once we have our guideline in. All right, and I'm gonna keep doing them to the end. And then I'll just let the end be a little tip there. All right, perfect. So let's go ahead and start outlining some of the other key features. Let's start connecting everything here. So here, we want to connect. Nice. Down here, now see how smooth my line is? You can make it a little bit more bumpy because shells, they're not perfectly smooth, so maybe it's got a little dense and stuff. Awesome. And let's come around and tuck in. Perfect. See how we take these simple shapes, but then we make them a little bit more organic. That's the trick to really seeing how an organic shape like a shell uh, is made so loosey-goosey, so to speak. It's really that we see the simple shape inside and then we work on top of that. So right here we have this nice cutout. Let's make it really organic. Just kind of following it, following it and tucking back in. Right here, we want to sort of have this ruffled edge. So what I'm gonna do is as I come around, I'll start right here, sort of come out and sort of do some of these ruffles, a little ruffle, ruffle and we'll tuck in and we'll just kind of do that back edge there. Perfect. Now lightly, we can do a little indication that this is rounded right here. So let's go, boom. That's really all you need. Okay, so let's do a little bit of under here, the top of here, and there's a little bit of shell coming out from behind. And then we'll start coloring it in and that'll give it its kind of shading that it needs. So here we go coming from the top, boom, boom. We basically just wanna work this towards a nice point. So however that works out in your drawing, don't get too careful about following mine perfect line for line, because again, all shells are different. Back here in this little corner it's sticking out, we'll just make a little bit of a cool little shell shape. All right, we have everything we need. If you want one extra little line, we can go right here uh, to right there and do a little, like almost sad face. There we go. Okay, let's start coloring it in. I'm gonna put that crayon back. I'm gonna grab the one that's kind of like the peach color. Now with this, I'm gonna use the edge of the crayon and really just fill it in. I'm gonna take this opportunity to just color it all in and notice how 
I don't have to stay in the lines, so to speak. I'm coloring right over everything. You'd be surprised what these crayons can do. And color nice and hard. The harder you color, you know, without breaking your crayon, the more vibrant your picture will end up being, the more saturated. What the word saturation means is just how intense your color is. So the harder we press our crayon down, the more color we're gonna have in the end of this. Now you should feel very impressed. This is a very, very, very advanced shape to draw. And look at that, we're all getting through it, no problem. And I'm sure that I'm gonna be getting the results um, like I am already with that Charmander. Wow, amazing job, Crip family. Uh, you just knocked it out of the park. Every one of you nailed that Charmander. I'd love to see um, any more that people do with the other lessons because, uh, you know, I'm here for you every day. So I'd love to, you know, basically see how that homework's going. Speaking of which, what do you call on homework nowadays? Okay, so let's go ahead and now we're gonna do a little bit of shading. We have our drawing in, but let's take it to that next level. I'm grabbing that middle brown crayon again. This time, I'm gonna color hard with it. So let's go nice and hard. And you can use that edge. The way I'm doing the direction of my coloring, it's not super important, but look how it gives it shape if I follow sort of the direction that the horns are going, that these horns are going. Perfect. Back here, let's do a little bit. Leave a little bit of uh, the lighter brown back there so it feels like there's a little bit of light hitting it. These ruffles, watch what I'm gonna do. At the top of each one, the smile part, I'm gonna come up and curve. Come up and curve, come up and curve, come up and curve, and come up and curve. Now from here, you can carry that all the way up and kind of make it look sort of all jagged like it's hitting the awkward edges of the shell. And then we can shadow it. So check this out. On the inside edge, right here, we'll go ahead and give a nice shadow. Now notice how the shadow, it widens as it gets towards the edge and it tapers as it goes up. Now you don't have to do this precisely on each one, but following that idea will make it look a little bit more believable to be a 3D shell. So isn't it amazing that not only are we drawing a shell, but we're drawing a 3D shell. All right, look at that. Now let's do a couple other texture lines down here. Here's just marks that happen on a shell. I'm gonna make a mirror the edge here. It's kind of, there we go, little marks. Awesome, you don't need a whole lot. You can throw a few in here that kind of run down here. So if I'm going here, I'm gonna mirror that just lightly, just little textures. I'll run straight here. As I get past this center section, now I'll kind of follow the curve below. You can see how that roundness starts to make a 3D. Remember, practice makes perfect. Let's go over to here. What I'm gonna do here is a fun little trick to make all of this look 3D. Now, you'll get practice and pause if you need a second to understand it. The top horn, I'm gonna go halfway down and then I'm gonna go to the next one, and I'm gonna go just a little bit in. And then the rest of them, I'm just gonna kind of avoid them all together, like that. Let's do that on the next one. The idea is, is that we're leaving a little bit so that we can have some light hitting it. You know, cause right now, what we're doing with this darker brown is we're putting in the shadow. Now that we have these indicated, let's go ahead and color them in. A little bit darker which is just pushing harder with our crayon we're still using that kind of uh, light brown crayon I haven't started using my dark brown one yet giving it a nice solid push because remember the harder we push down the better our drawing will look the more saturated it will be let's do this piece back here it's in a nice little shadow tuck some of this and do a little bit of shadow there Perfect. All right, we just got two more steps uh, and then we're done with this. So let's go ahead and put that crayon back. Let's grab our darkest brown. Now, we're gonna use this to just do a little bit of outlining, but also a little bit of last texturing. So what I'm gonna think of is kind of like tiger stripes. And I'm gonna do the same sort of uh, directional 
uh, crayon strokes that I did before, but leave some spaces. Now press really hard. All shells look different, but just having this variety of brown right here, going in these streaks, almost like a tiger, right? Like stripes, will make it seem a lot more real. I'm gonna color in back here, get a little bit of shadow. Now, what I'm gonna do is a couple lines around here, just sort of wiggly lines, kind of following the curve, following the curve, until you run out. Okay, now let's outline our drawing so it really stands out, so that everything doesn't get all lost like it is right now. I'm gonna take this same crayon and push really hard. I'm gonna show you where I'm gonna to prefer to draw. It's gonna mostly be on the bottom edge, so I'll definitely get all of this nice. But as I do get to the top edge of the shell, I'm just gonna do one side of the horns. I'm gonna let the other side of the horns be that lighter crayon color. This will help it look 3D. Here we go. So as I come up, I'll do the bottom edge of any of these little uh, nub teeth, like we were calling them later or earlier. And then come around, come around, come around, push in, push in. Look at that, now it's really popping out. We can really see all that depth and all that work we did to make a nice 3D shape. Let's go ahead and outline the other areas. So this little piece back here, take this as another opportunity to make your edge, you know, a little more natural, right? Find those little nicks and dents that a shell might have in it. It's going around and I'm not outlining everything, just basically the major shapes that help us see it. I'll do this one, just a nice light. Perfect. If you need to make any of these extra textures stand out, you could do that real lightly, but you don't gotta get too carried away. And it's a little bit on the edge of these shadows, just for a little last touch. Okay, perfect. Last but not least, let's put a shadow on the ground and a little bit under the shell, and then we'll call it done. You guys are so amazing. I can't believe that every day you're all joining me with these classes and just knocking out of the park. I knew that there's nothing that's too hard for anyone here to do. Let's go ahead and, with our gray, we're gonna do a shadow. Now, we're gonna make it face a direction, so just pick the corner of the shell and lightly, with your crayon, go out. Now, I'm only going about as far as the tip is. I'm gonna find that other spot right there. I'm gonna go out at the same angle. Now, color the whole area that's right under the shell. And then, once we get about an inch away from that, start lightening up, lightening up. The idea is that we wanna fade out, just fade out. So it looks like the shadow just fades away. You could do it in a couple passes. You can come back and make it a little darker as you get it. I'm gonna go under some of these. Look at that, now it'll make the shell look like it's really sitting down on the ground. Perfect, perfect. Just a little more back there. All right, so last but not least, let's just take our black crayon and do a little bit more accent with the shadow and then just one last little pop of the outline. So here we go, real soft. We're gonna just go and we're gonna fade out, fade out right into the gray, fade out right into the gray. Awesome. All the way to the edge, all the way to the edge, which we're about to accentuate. So watch where I put these last marks, these very last marks of the lesson, right at the bottom bottoms. So here, a little bit there, there. And you don't have to press too hard with these ones just enough to really make it feel like it's got a nice hard shadow on the bottom of these. Take your time and just kind of copy where they're at if you're not sure where to put them yourself. You'll only get better at this. And honestly, I believe in you. That's why I make these lessons kind of challenging. Cause you know, the thing is, is that you're gonna feel so proud of yourself and that's what it's all about. Well, we're stuck inside and you know, everything's changing around us. I want us to feel like we can do things that we're in control of. So with that, you know, those are about all the last touches. We have a nice little shell there and it's been so nice having you today in this class. Up there, you know, if you wanna keep going, you'll see, click on that class and you know, keep at it. Until then, until tomorrow, you know, doodle on.